Factsverse presents Beach Wedding Quickly Takes a Turn When the Groom Stops His Vows to Jump in the Ocean. I've heard of runaway brides, but swim away grooms? That's a new one. Help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. And now, on with the story. A person's wedding day is one of the biggest days of their lives. It's the day you promise to spend the rest of your life with another person while your friends and family watch. Many people spend years planning their wedding. They'll spend thousands of dollars. Unfortunately, no matter how much you plan, things happen. The weather might not cooperate. The best man is hungover. The flower girl decides that she doesn't want to walk down the aisle. Or maybe the dress tears. There are plenty of things that can go wrong during a wedding, and they can't be avoided. It's something that Zach and Cindy Edwards learned on their wedding day. Zach and Cindy lived on the southern coast of Alabama. Zach was an officer with the Coast Guard and a marine scientist. He was stationed near Sector Mobile, Alabama. He loved the ocean, so when he proposed to Cindy and she said yes, it was his dream to have a wedding by the waves. At first, the couple was going to have a small family outing. After talking a bit about the wedding and Zach's love of the ocean, they ended up planning a beautiful beach wedding. They thought the beach would be the perfect place to begin their lives together. The couple woke up on their wedding day, and it was cloudy. They were worried that it might be raining when their wedding started. Fortunately, though, shortly before the wedding, the clouds moved out and opened up to clear skies. Kind of like God looking down saying, I approve. The waves that day were a bit choppy and dangerous, though. There were flags on the beach to warn swimmers that it was too dangerous to go into the water. Zack and Cindy thought that that would be good because that way they wouldn't have to worry about people running around the beach and in the water during the ceremony. Everything actually seemed to be going great. The ceremony began and Cindy walked down the beach toward Zack. He says that he knew he was meant to spend the rest of his life with Cindy. When he saw her walking toward him, he lost it. She looked so beautiful, he couldn't have been happier. Right after the couple said, I do, they walked closer to the water to take some photos. And it was then that Cindy saw something in the water and pointed it out to Zack. What Cindy saw was a boy named Jamel Robinson out at sea, struggling to stay afloat. A strong current had carried the boy 300 feet offshore, and he couldn't swim back. Since Zack was in the Coast Guard, he knew how dangerous swimming was when the red flag was raised. He says people ignore those signs, thinking that they can still swim. People were ignoring the signs all day, and it meant that the lifeguards were all out trying to rescue other swimmers. That left Jamel in the water alone. Cindy looked at Zack and told him to go rescue the boy. Before jumping in, Zack took off his shirt. He was about to remove his pants, but Cindy told him there was no time. Two other people jumped in the water to help, but Zack knew that it would be dangerous. He borrowed a boogie board from the man who tried to help so that he could use it as a flotation device. The woman went out in the water with Zack to help the boy. By the time they got to Jamel, he was struggling to stay above water. They got the boy on the boogie board, but since Zack was still wearing his pants, he was really weighed down. The lifeguards were nowhere to be found, so Zack and Jamel were both in danger. Zack started swimming to shore with Jamel on his back, but the current was just too strong. They were hundreds of feet away from the shore, and he began to panic. Cindy was standing, watching, and she started panicking as well. Finally, Zack heard the jet skis coming, and he knew that they would be all right. When Zack and Jamel got back to the shore, Cindy ran over to hug her new husband. His nose was bleeding, and he didn't want to get blood on Cindy's dress, so he got checked out by a lifeguard and cleaned himself up before he celebrated with his wife. Fortunately, Jamel was going to be all right as well. Jamel and his mother were so thankful to Zack that they invited him to his graduation party. The pastor who married the couple said Zack was a hero. He suggested the couple get married the day before. Fortunately, they didn't. Had the wedding not taken place on that day, Jamel and two other people who were going to save him may have died. Everyone was lucky that day, thanks to a groom who was willing to leave his bride to jump into the water to save a boy. Subscribe for more.